So following on from the previous video, for given h we can work out the area. So uh, so in the previous video we we uh, we've established that for given h, for given height, uh, for given height we can work out the the area of this equilateral triangle. So the idea here is to um, to imagine this being in the centre. The idea here, so this is your x-axis. The idea here is to sum up everything. So so as you're moving along here, you're summing up everything from zero. 0 to, to B, 0 to B, you're moving in the x direction, so it's going to be something dx. It's going to be something dx. But each step of the way, you need to know the, the height. Once you've got the height, then you need to know the area, and, and then you're, you're going to sum up all the areas. You see what I mean later. So, so as we're moving along in the x direction, we need to know the height each step of the way, meaning we need to know the equation of this straight line just so that we can work out the height as we're moving on. as we're moving along here we need to know this height here we need to know this height well we need to know in order for us to know the height we need to know the equation so the equation is y equals mx plus c so we need to know this this gradient here well this height here which is which is this height here which is this height here so so remember right from the start of the problem you're given a a a and the vertical height b but but then when when given a you can work out h when given a you can you can work out when given a remember this is a a a so you can work out this height here which is this height which is this height so when given a you can work out h so going back to the previous video so in the previous video when given a we can work out h so we would use pythagoras here and then it's blah blah blah. That will then take us down to that will then take us down to to here. So when when given uh, when given a, we can work out h. So so rearrange this. So multiply both sides by root uh, root three, and then divide it by four. That will be h. So when given a, we can work out h. So when given a, we can work out h. When given a, we can work out h. So going back to here. So going back to here, we need to know the equation of this straight line. So we need to know this height here, because it's y equals mx plus c. We need to know this gradient. Well, this height here is, um, is well, when given a, you can work out h. Well, this height here would be root 3a over 4. That's a height. But to work out the gradient, you need to divide it by this, this length here, which is your, which is b, which is b. So, so the gradient here is, is this divided by b, so it gets multiplied to the bottom. So it's like this. So the equation of, so, so the gradient here would be, would be this thing here. And then times c. So that will then give you this. So this is root 3, root 3a, and then 4b, 4bx. And then plus c, plus c. But, but this line goes through the origin, so c would be 0. So the equation of this straight line here is given by, by this. So now, now we have the ability, with, with this equation, we now have the ability to work out the height as we're moving along. So what is the height here? Well, the height here would be given by this. This whole thing here is the height. So, so, uh, so we're going to sum up everything from 0 to B, and then we need to move each step of the way here in the X direction, in the X direction. So what is the height right here? Well, the height right here would be given by this. And then we're going to move along here. What is the height here? Well, the height here is given by this. We're going to move along here. Uh, what is the height here? It will be given by this. So, what, so once you know the height, once you know the height, you can put the height into here. That will then give you the area of the whole thing. So the idea here is to sum up everything from 0 to B. So, so we're moving along here. We need to know the height each step of the way. So, uh, so what is the height? The height will be this. So that's our height. So it will be root 3 a over 4 b x so that's a height but then but then once we've got a height so this is a height here that's this height here that's this height here so 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 we're moving along here um so so this point here will correspond to this triangle here will correspond to this this triangle here so so this this height uh sorry this height here will represent the height from here to here Okay, so, so let's start again. So we're moving along here. So we, we, we need to know the height each step of the way. Well, the height each step of the way, 
is is this thing here. So is this thing here. So it would be root 3a over 4bx. So we've, so we've got a height. We've got this height here. We now need to know the area. So we need to put this into here. So we've got to square our height. So squaring this height here will give us um, 3a squared x squared over 4 squared b squared. So, so that's our squaring it. And then, and then we've got to times by 4. We've got to times by 4. So let's, let's cancel that out with 4 squared there. So that would be 4 here. And then we've got to divide it by root 3. And then we've got to divide it by root 3. So, so that would represent our area. This thing here would represent our area. So hang on, let's start again here. Let's start again. We, we're, we're moving along here. What is the height right here? Well, the height right here is given by this, but we don't want the height. We want to know the area. So we've got a height here. We need to know the area. Well, the area of this whole whole equilateral triangle would be given by this, which would be uh, 3a squared x squared um, over, have I made a mistake? Well, let's carry on, over 4 root 3b squared and then dx, because we're moving the dx direction. Uh, so, so we, we'll, so we're summing up basically. We, so, so let's start again here. Hang on, let's start again. We're moving along here each step of the way. What is the height right here? Well, the height right here is given by this, but we don't want to know the height. We, we not, we don't want to know the height. We want to know the area. So the area is is this whole thing here, and then we're summing up everything. So we're moving along in the x direction, and then we're summing up everything from zero to b. This thing here is B. B is the, the whole length here. B is the whole length here. Um, so, so that, so the volume is given by, by this. So the volume is given by, hang on. So the volume is given by, is given by, is given by this thing here. Okay, so, so the volume is given by this. Um, I will continue in the next video. Okay, so we are currently here at the moment.